Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4x4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer. We're going to talk about D&D minis in this video, so let's roll. Okay, so for this video I wanted to show the difference between old school minis and what's out now. So... Uh, I recently bought um, I bought a brick, and when I say a brick, you get eight of you get eight of these right here. Uh, each one of these is, is a booster pack for the D and D Fifth Edition Icons of the Realms. This these are the uh, Storm King's Thunder uh, that go that coincide with the uh, adventure book that came out called Storm King's Thunder, and um, they're uh, they're random as to what you get inside. You you know there's 44 different figures. It says right there on it. Collect all 44 figures, and you don't know what you're going to get inside. Uh, but when you buy a brick, like I did eight, um, I think that you're guaranteed to get at least one rare. I think that's the way it works. Kind of like magic cards. You know how you know you're supposed to if you buy a whole box of magic cards, there's a certain amount that you're guaranteed to get you know, rare or whatever, foil cards, whatever. Um, I think it works the same way with these these minis now. So, uh, number one, I wanted to say that this particular series for the 5th edition minis are amazing. Uh, well worth every penny. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. So, anyway, so I recently bought those, and by the way, I, um, I did that with the... Uh, the money that I get through Patreon, I have uh, two people that have donated to me uh, through Patreon for my channel, uh, and I said that when I started that, that I would use that money to buy things to where I could talk about them and show them in videos um, to, to kind of compare them to old school stuff or whatever, you know, um, whatever content I wanted to do, but that's what I'm using that money for, and so that's what I did. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks for a brick of, um, of these minis. So, uh, I thought what I would do is I would show you the comparison between the old school. What I say when I say old school, I'm talking about these. These are the. Uh, they were called the. Um, they're made by Grenadier um, models, but they were the Dragon Lords series of minis for D and D back in the day. And this was the Stone Giant box that you got. And uh, this is an unpainted, because I never have gotten around to painting him. This was the stone giant that you got from Grenadier. Right there. So, um, and the reason I wanted to do this was, there's a stone giant who is, and I I want to say that uh, uh, in the first edition Monster Magnet, they say that they're supposed to be either 12 or 14 feet tall. Um, and here is a stone giant, same thing, stone giant from the 5th edition uh, brick that I got. Uh, and I want to show you the difference in size. So there you go. Uh, much, much larger. Uh, now, there's a, try and get you a close up there of, um, of what he looks like. And, uh, of course, they come pre-painted, so that's kind of nice. And these are plastic. These are lead. So they're very heavy. And um, these, like I had to glue his, when I bought, got him back in the 80s, I had to glue his hand on with the club there. Whereas these, like this one didn't have anything to attach, but there were other ones in the brick where you had other pieces, like their weapons and stuff you have to attach, but they just have a slot and they just slot right in there. So you really don't have to glue them. So, um, then I thought I'd show you the comparison between the Frost Giant, old school versus new, the new one. Now this one is painted, because I did get around to painting this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a picture in here. I took a picture of the, I actually did the diorama, because this came with a female Frost Giant and an adventurer. Um, and they each had a little stone that came uh, like a marker, 
an obelisk for the particular type of giant it was. And I actually did a, a little diorama of the whole thing. And I'm going to put a picture here for you. So that was the picture of a uh, little diorama that I did. And so I did paint this guy. And there you go. Let's see if I can make that focus better. For, oh, there you go. And uh, he's pretty cool. Um, but he's also supposed to be like 14 feet tall. So here is a normal sized fighter who's probably, you know, we'll say six feet tall. And the supposed 14 foot um, giant. And I've put two of these on top of one another, which would be 12 feet. And if he stood, put it, you know, stood straight up instead of being, you know, having his legs uh, at wide stance like that, he might be 14 feet. It's, it's you know, pretty close. Um, but here is the frost giant now for the Storm King's Thunder. And there's your comparison. There's a, This is a female frost giant from the Storm King's Thunder. So you can see she's almost twice as tall as this mini. Um, and I'm not saying either one's right or wrong because um, in 5th edition they just have the size categories. This one, is, these are huge. All the giants are huge. Um, and I looked and I couldn't find anywhere where it talks about specific heights. Um, where in the first edition D&D &D, um, it did tell you that like frost giants are supposed to be like 14 feet tall. Um, so anyway, and I'll show you this one up kind of so you can see the, the detail on this. Let's see if it'll, how well that'll do for you here. And uh, so, but these are, these are beautiful. I mean, they're beautifully done. Uh, I think they're well worth the money. So with the brick price, with eight of them being in there um, at a hundred bucks, um, you're a little over $10 per, per booster. And then uh, in addition to the big, you get one big figure in every box. And then you get four small ones, you know, like little creatures and stuff that you get. Um, so, anyway, uh, that was the comparison. So what do you guys think about the, the differences in size between old school, the old Grenadier, you know, models, and then the new ones? Um, these are accurate size-wise, according to the first edition Monster Manual, uh, but... And of course, I just dropped him and knocked off some of the. I don't know if I showed you when I did this guy. I don't know if it'll show up on there, but I put like I bought snow like you would get at a railroad train store, and I put snow and some ice crystals uh, because in the diorama, which you'll see, um, I tried to make it all look all snowy and everything. I even put a little tree in there from railroad store and I put snow on it. So, um, but when I just dropped him, of course. It knocked a lot of that off. So, uh, anyway, he's going to have to be redone. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just want to know, what do you guys think? What are your opinions on um, the size? Like I said, those are more accurate to first edition rules, but then these new ones are much larger and more imposing. And uh, I'm kind of torn. I, I like the idea of having in height and having it in scale to to a character mini, you know, like this, having it in correct scale. Um, but I also love the fact that these are, I mean, if a character this size goes up a giant, goes against this giant, I mean, that is freaking terrifying, you know. So, I'm kind of torn. I love these new figures. They're pre-painted. Don't have to worry about painting them. Um, that's the other thing that's kind of a uh, toss-up is I actually do enjoy painting the figures um, but of course that's very time-consuming so there's a there's a plus and a minus there as well because when you get them and they come pre-painted like these are you don't have any choice about how you can customize them it's already done for you but then again you don't have to worry about putting the time in to do it 
So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to show a comparison of that, of the um, old school, new school. What do you guys think? What are your preferences? Did you like this particular series? There's other series. There was the uh, Icons of the Realm, um, Monster Menagerie, and, um, and then I've got one over there, like the first set, which was Tyranny of Dragons, I believe. Um, and uh, that particular one, I didn't get a dragon or anything in it. Um, and those, I don't think, are worth as much for your, you're getting as much worth for your dollar as this particular set. So, anyway, those are my thoughts, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.